how did you first meet Sting? It was a stormy night. <laughs> <laughs> We had a night off in Newcastle, and the local journalist, Phil Sutcliffe, took me to see the local hero band playing at the local college. The first thing he noticed was a golden ray of sunshine alighting upon the brow of the golden one. <laughs> His name was Fred. Just kidding, that was Sting. <laughs> And no, he could play bass and sing, and that was what it was impressed me about it. And I was—I already had the idea of the police. I had the name, I had the logo, I had a manifesto even, and uh, you know this idea. I just didn't have any guys in the band except me. Um, so I saw this guy, and I wanted it to be a three-piece. So a few months later, I was actually said, "Well, let me actually get this thing. I want to get that bass player up in, uh, in Newcastle." So I called up the journalist and asked him, Phil Sutcliffe, to give me the, the telephone number. You know that bass player you introduced me to? Can I got a sting. Uh, and he said, oh, no, I'm not giving you his number. I know what you're doing down there in London. You're, you're into this punk thing, aren't you? And you want to ruin our Newcastle band, and I'm not giving you the number. You know, he hangs up, I hang up, and I'm half an hour, like, wait, wait a minute. It's like, you know, I call him back. And, hello, it's his girlfriend. Uh, Phil's not here. And, um, well, I just wanted to get a number of that bass on. Okay, let me look at his phone book and I'll, I'll get it for you. <laughs> so she goes. <laughs> so she goes off and gets the number, brings it back, gives me the number. And I thought, oh shit, now I need a guitarist. 